Hello, I am Neil Thompson. I'm an assignment editor for This Week Community News. And I'm Sandy Wallace. I'm assistant managing editor for news for This Week Community News. And we are out here at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market for the debut market of the season. Uh, so the market is four to seven. It's been going on here for a little bit more than an hour. And we've got lots of great stuff to, to talk about and lots of great vendors uh, and community members to speak with. We're actually going to start with Jennifer Clemens the manager of the uh, Reynoldsburg Farmers Market. So let's move over here to her, and we'll ask a couple different questions. Now, Jennifer, the, the, the time is a little different than in past years. Is that one yeah. thing that's changed this year? Yeah, this year we switched the market to 4 to 7. Last year we had a lot of people asking us about uh, pushing it back a little bit because with working schedules, trying to get back into Reynoldsburg in time to cover the market, it was just hard when we ended at 6. So, we just had a lot of response from the community about that, so we decided we are just going to give it a shot this year. And I think it's going to be great for the market. That's kind of a... Uh, we had dozens and dozens of people here lined up um, a little bit ago. What's the best time to come to the market if you're uh, either if you're getting off work or if you maybe aren't working on Thursday afternoon? Well, if you're not working, come at 4 because they like to get in line for all the you know fresh produce and some of the fresh bread. Um, but we still have lots available for you throughout the whole market. Um, we usually wind down, what is it, about 536, get 530. Right. So it's a little bit quieter now at the market. you got a little bit more time that you can scan, take your time. You're not shoulder to shoulder with people, but uh, still lots of stuff to get out here. I want to touch on something, too. Yeah. When we, you started today, yeah. there were a whole lot of tomato plants sitting back here on this table, and there are no tomato plants there now. Yes. We gave away 100 uh, tomato plants this year. something just kind of fun to do for the farmer's market. Market. Uh, we started them as seedlings and we grew them in the greenhouse here and uh, we bought we went with a fun one called the German striped tomato just I'm like well you're probably never gonna buy that so let's do something give away something that nobody would buy so that was fun everybody's really excited about that I saw lots of these bags filled with tomatoes and so there's still some of these for uh, market yes. bags that you can get if you come no down to the market plants, tonight but there's always a bag for you I've seen a lot of people walking around with these yeah. so great thing to have. Right. Yes. yes they're free so all we ask is that you fill it up. <laughs> all right, so thank you very much, Jennifer. Yeah, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. We're going to go visit some of your vendors now. Awesome. And Enjoy. So we're going to start, and we're going to walk by. With this week news, we have uh, our booth out here. Here's one of our editors, Lisa Proctor. So come down and see her while we're doing this video. She is uh, manning the booth. So we were very, very happy for that. And so here's our first vendor. I'm going to head up here and see what everybody... Everybody's selling. Hi guys. Hi I'm back. So, so what what all do you have here at this uh, at, at your booth? Homemade catnip pillows. Homemade catnip pillows. I grow catnip. This is my product tester. Oh. <laughs> he does test every batch. He looks very experienced. Yes. Yes. I see brown eggs. Brown eggs. We have chickens. We saw eggs. My husband is a beekeeper, so he does the honey. The hives are down around Canal Winchester. So it's all you say local honey and raw and unprocessed? Raw and unprocessed. Raw, okay. So it has all the enzymes that are in there. It's not from Argentina or someplace that you don't want it to be. Right. <laughs> you want it local. It, it, a lot of people like to get raw honey in case maybe their doctors told them to get it for allergies or something. Mm -hmm. It has to be within a certain radius usually around 35 miles, so you want to be sure it's within the area where you live if you get So it has all the local... Like Ashton Beetle County, it's not going to have the same flowers and columns and right, stuff right. as what your local honey is. Do you grow specific flowers for your bees or do they just forage wherever? He's the beekeeper. He can take over. They they range about four miles. They okay. get whatever they feel like eating. Take it away, beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like, she pretty much nailed it. They'll forage for four. Have you had problems with with colony collapse? Well, a lot of losses we've, this we've year. We've lost all the beekeepers. Uh, it's been a rough rough spring on the beekeepers. They've lost a lot of hives. Colony collapse is kind of a I want to say a misnomer, but you know, we just lost a lot of beehives this year, uh, not only here, but all over the state and, and uh, all over the United States. The weather in the spring was... was How do you fun. replenish when you lose a hive? Well, you can do two things. You can buy bees uh, from some of the southern states that actually raise them for sale, 
or you can split a hive, which just means basically you take one hive and you divide it into two, and then you add another queen to that hive, to the one hive that you split away, and hope that it takes to do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Well, and uh, this is a place you can come to get local honey and other items at the Reynoldsburg Farmer's Market. I'm going to move on to the next booth now. Hello. Hi. Sue's Herbs and Relishes and Jellies and Jams. Sue's Herbs and Relishes. And I think when I stopped by here before, Sue, you were asking me if yes. I wanted to try something. I've got samples. I've got peony jelly made with the peonies in my okay, yard. Okay, now I'm going to try that. And then I've got a Moscato wine jelly. I've got a Sangria wine jelly. I've got Irish coffee jelly. I've got a beet relish, a zucchini relish with a kick, habanero jelly, and a ghost sauce. Oh, I'm not saying oh. no, no. No ghost so sauce. So is that ghost, no, no, ghost no. peppers? <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it's okay. a seasoning company called Duck Butt Seasoning that goes to some of the farmer's markets. And he challenged me this winter. I couldn't eat jelly out of his seasoning mix, and I proved him wrong. They both have an apple juice base, so there's a little sweet. Well, I'm going to do the peony, because yeah. that sounds very interesting. Yeah, I also have lilac and dandelion wine, anything seasonal. Yeah, you can. Dump a couple out here. I have a reputation for liking spicy things. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. So I'm going to try the ghost pepper. Okay. The ghost okay, well, this sauce. is going to be ghost good. Sauce. Yes. He's braver this, this, than I This am. might end our video really better. quick. Yeah. But I now, will. Now, everybody tells me it's not hot enough. Oh. <laughs> uh, the gentleman that makes the uh, seasoning mix is coming out with an extreme ghost, and I will make jelly out of it and hopefully knock some people's socks off. Right well, now. there's no steam coming out of his ears yet, so this is good. I'm practiced. Yeah. That has a wonderful flavor. Sometimes with the ghost pepper, you yeah. can get a little too hot, so you can't really taste it. Right. That is really, really good. If you like spicy things, you're going to like this. Yep. Nice sweet flavor with that. And that's the ghost sauce jam? Ghost sauce. Ghost sauce. Just, just ghost, ghost sauce. sauce. And it, I can it was supposed to be jelly, but it didn't it's jam soft. as well as it should have. I did it in the winter time, and sometimes doing jellies in the winter don't. But it's great as a, a glaze on pork or a dipping sauce for your meat. That would be good. What do you use the peony Just for? for Toaster, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very it's good. It's sweet, but it's yeah. got a different flavor. Yeah, it's got a little floral note. Yeah, okay. those were but with my white and pink peonies, and a friend just gave me a bunch of purple, deep purple ones that I've got the juice, made the juice, and it's in the freezer for my next batch. Wow, that's really. I never would have thought of making anything yeah. out of peony flowers. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that either until I found it on the internet this winter. God bless the internet. Yeah. Huh? But, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so Thanks. much. Yep. This is a great, uh, another great booth of the Reynoldsburg Farmer's yep. Market. And I'll be here every week. Sue's Herbs and Relish is here every week. Yep. Stop by and see her. Yeah, I didn't miss a day last year. So. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing great. How are you? Hi. We're here at the Stand by Faith booth. And uh, ladies, I'll let you introduce yourselves. I'm Brittany. This is Olivia. <laughs> and what are you selling here? We have all homemade baked goods and homemade... Um, Arts and crafts, we do our own quilts and stuff, and 100% goes to a local charity. We're building a new church in Patasco. This was actually um, my stand that my grandma started. Her name was Faith, so stay my faith, and the scriptural meaning the righteous will live by faith. So, this is something she started to be able to put into our church building fund. What's your best selling item? Uh, our lemon blueberry bread, and I think it's gone. <laughs> It's sold, but we sell a lot of pies and breads here. That's a very good sign if something <laughs> sold out. So lemon blueberry bread, yep. you can get it at Stand by Faith at the Reynoldsburg Far Farmer's Market. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank good you. to meet you. you all, enjoy the day. all right, we'll move on over here to Darby Creek Beef. We'll give it just a moment. And we don't want to interrupt any transactions, so we'll we'll come back to this stand here in just a second. We're going to move over here, and we'll come back uh, and visit the Darby Creek beef stand. But this is one that I had my eye on earlier uh, for pies, fresh baked pies. Hi there. Hi there. I'm back again to say hello. Hi. And what is your name, sir? Uh, David Heron. David Heron, and what were are you out of uh, out of wares for today? Yeah, I am. I'm sold out. Yeah. So what were you selling? Uh, selling pies today. And I will tell you, I bought a pie. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very popular stand uh, earlier here at the 
uh, at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market. Are you here every week? Every week, yes. Excellent. You have a, a business name or anything? Uh, it's remember? Nova Terra Farm. Our, our farm's down by Rickenbacker Air Base. Nova Terra Farm. And we have a home Put this bakery. up there. And I'm going to take one of these because I would okay. like to try some of your pies okay, too. Sure. But I'll have to get it next time. Okay. So stop by and see Nova Terra Farm at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to go back really quick to Derby Creek Beef and give everybody one more view of the market here. Hello again, sir. I am doing great. So we're back to talk uh, a little bit about your business, Dark Creek Beef. And what is your name? Kevin Beavers. Kevin Beavers. And so, Kevin, what are you selling here uh, at your stand? I am offering fresh rows of beef that I raise on my farm. Also, pork I buy locally. And my farm's in Northern Pickwick County, just about eight miles or so south of Grove City. So pretty close. Now, are you at other farmers markets other than other than Reynoldsburg? Sure, I do Prairie Township. Prairie on Township. Mondays. Up Arlington on Wednesdays, here Upper today, Arlington. and Saturday mornings I do Grove City. And Saturday mornings in Grove City, so, okay, are, are you here every every? I'm a uh, bi-weekly here. Bi-weekly for the uh, yes. Reynoldsburg Farmers Market, so I think uh, you've been pretty popular here, I've noticed, as everybody's stopping by. Well, this is my fourth year doing this market. So Excellent. It's worked out good. Well, thank you very much for taking a moment to speak with us. Thank you. Take thank care, you. Buddy. All right, we're going to move on down here, uh, down the aisles to some of the other vendors. And you might be able to even see in the background catching glimpses of the Schmidt's sausage truck, which is, I've been eyeing that for dinner. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? We're doing good tonight. Tell us a little bit about what you're selling here at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market. Well, I'm selling olive oil soaps, goat's milk soaps, hemp oil soaps, and uh, regular fragrances, and essential oils. I have paraben-free lotions, and uh, I have a triple thick lotion. What's special about that? It's just a different uh, texture. Texture is more thick. It looks like a cream. Mm -hmm. It's in between a, a cold cream and a and the paraben free lotions. Now, do you make these things or do you? Yes, ma'am. You do. And these are mostly essential oils over here okay. that I made. But I did that because it's a good way of getting the essential oils into a product instead of having to use it uh, straight out of the bottle. Yeah. It's what strong essential there. oils do you use? I use lavender, tea tree, uh, ginger, orange, eucalyptus, frankincense. Uh, I think that might be about it. Where do you get oh, the frankincense? Clove and bergamot. Okay, bergamot's the flavoring that's in Earl Grey tea. And sweet orange. I get all my essential oils from local coffee carry, and they're all therapeutic great. Excellent. And what's the name of your business? Barnes and Sopel. Barnes and Sopel. And are you here every week? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Wheels are hopefully people will come out and see you next week here, or in the hour or so that's left of of, the, of this market. We did get one question uh, on our uh, Facebook Live, so responding to that real really quickly. The farmers market is every Thursday. And so you could come out here from four to seven at Reynoldsburg. And I failed to mention where we were earlier. We're at Huber Park. It's off of Davidson Drive in Reynoldsburg. Uh, it's right next to the community center, right, Sandy? Oh, it's right next to the senior center. The senior center, okay. So we're at Huber Park right next to the senior center. The Reynoldsburg Farmer's Market is every Thursday throughout the summer, 4 to 7 p.m. Okay, so we're going to move right along here down to the next, uh, down to the next uh, booth. And this has been quite a popular place. Sandy and I, uh, Sandy treated me to some lemonade from here earlier. That was extremely good. So we'll walk up here and uh, see what people are getting. But we have not only the lemon shake-ups, but also kettle corn, which I've been smelling and seeing, and it looks quite popular among uh, everybody who's here. So we're going to keep stepping up here just a little bit. Hey, 
And you see they're filling some of the kettle corn back here. We might stop back by when it's a little less busy. We're going to move out around here for now. We'll come back. Uh, we'll come back in just a few minutes. Uh, go down more. Honestly, though, that's been the stand today. There's not. There's been a line at it almost all at all points today. It's kind of a hot day. What's better than lemonade on a, on a day like this? Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for buying. Yeah. yeah thank we'll be back in two weeks. Oh, hello. Well, hello again. Hello. How I'm are with you? Scott and Tina. Yeah. And is, is your business Biscotti? B. Scotty. B. Scotty. I get uh -huh. pronunciation is not, not quite there. Yeah. So, what are you guys selling then? I'm guessing. We make. Biscotti? <laughs> homemade Italian biscotti. Excellent. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. And uh, I think you were telling me earlier when I stopped by these racks. Were 100% full yes. at the start of the day. Is that right? Yes, they were. Yeah, and look at them now. So, wow. So it's a good thing. We've had a good day today so far. And uh, what's uh, the most popular flavor? Oh my goodness. Well, the first one that sold today was the Buckeye. Oh. oh so Buckeye. Bidding. The traditional chocolate with peanut butter. Okay. Um, and peanuts on top. It's you know I would have gone right for the traditional almond. A lot of people do. Yeah. And I might try some of this chocolate chip. Please that do. Looks Please do. There is, I think, one left. <laughs> or, you know, no, better, the anise. And it's great. That because, is really um, traditional. These are a uh, real bargain at a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. They're all individually wrapped. They stay fresh for a good four weeks or more. And um, they, people love to just get one if they'd like one. Um, or you can get multiple. So. I'm going to sneak in here because <laughs> that's Italian. So next time, people need to come out a little bit earlier. Earlier, we do take online orders. Get the oh, Biscotti early. What's your website? Uh, www.b-scotti.com B-scotti.com And that's okay. Scotty with an I. With an I. With an I. Scotty yes. with an I. In Correct. fact, is this a business card? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Let's just show it on our video here, and then people can rewind and scrub back to it, okay. and they can see exactly what your website is. There it is. And I'll keep this, too, because I, I happen to love biscotti. I'll give people a chance at that chocolate chip, but if it's still there and as soon as this video is done, it might be mine. So, thank you. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Excellent. Thanks so much. See you guys later. You're here every week, right? Every other week. Every other week. Yes, every other week. Every other week at the Reynoldsburg Farm. And on our, on our website and on Facebook, we post when we're going to be here and where we, where we will be. Terrific, terrific. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, we're going to keep moving along down here. You're going to notice in the background we have some musical entertainment. And that is uh, somebody who's well known to most Reynoldsburg residents, actually, is the Mayor Brad McLeod. So that is him performing in the background here. We're going to be getting a really up, really close here in just a moment. Hello again. Hey, how are you? Doing great. Just wanted to how stop by and say hello. Oh, okay. Well, hi. We, we're doing the, the video right now. Oh, okay. If you want to tell us a little bit about what you're selling, and I think you were telling me earlier when I stopped by that you had how many how many loaves of bread here today? I brought 80 loaves out here with me today, and <laughs> that's all I got left. 80 loaves and two left at the at the Earlsburg Farm and Market. So business was booming. And another, uh, just another suggestion, you might want to get here early to get first pick of the things uh, that are being sold. So that's, that's, been, that's been something that's recurred a couple times today. And what's the name of your business, sir? Great Harvest Bread Company. Great Harvest Bread Company. We're located in Westerville. In we and he's based in Westerville. Been there for 25 years. Excellent. Are you here every week at this market? In this spot. Been here for nine years. In the spot, um, right off Davidson Drive at the, at the Reynoldsburg Farmer's Market. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good rest you of the evening. Too. Okay, we're going to continue making our way around here. And directly in front of me is, again, the Schmidt's Sausage Truck, which has been quite popular as a dinner destination for people. We'll go up here and uh, take a drive-by of the mayor performing. Actually, one of my favorite bands, Sweetie the Blowfish. 
back down on my couch and cry again. Woman, please help. Won't you take my hand and just let her cry? And her tears fall down like the rain. Let her sing. Again, that's Mayor Brad McLeod performing. We're going to keep moving on here to some different vendors. Everybody's busy. That's a really good sign. We're going to stop by here just a moment and head over here to the Tiny Baker. Hello again. Welcome back. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is Brittany from the Tiny Baker. Brittany, what are you selling here today? I am selling cake pops and snack bars. So snack bars if you're looking to snack on something and keep you through you know hold your food for dinner and cake pops if you want to treat yourself i've got all kinds of different flavors so. what's in the snack bars depends on what you get they're mostly fruit and nuts uh there's a white chocolate cranberry and almond bar i've got a blueberry cashew and sunflower seed and then a peanut butter chocolate chip and uh dates wow so, okay yeah like that that sounds very interesting and any special cake pop flavors uh, I've got a Buckeye one in the middle there, of course. Gotta have that for the Ohio State fans. Uh, there's cookies and cream, is always a big seller. It has this chocolate. Uh, I've got strawberry and lemon if you're on the fruity side of things. I like those a lot personally, so those are mostly for me, I guess, and everyone else is on my side. Always a good, always a good bet. Yeah, you know, you got appeal to everybody. Now, I see you have a business card here. Yes, and I'm sir. Gonna, I'm gonna hold it up. You got so it. So everybody watching can see it because you have a website on here. And what's I that do. website? That website is a work in progress. So okay. you might not find much on there right now. Just a heads up. But, but you have an email address there and an phone number that we showed you. I'm here every Thursday. Every Thursday at the Reynoldsburg Farmer at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market. Great to hear. Thank you very much. Thank you much, Neil. Okay. Have a good evening, you guys. You too. Oh, Let's walk over here very quickly, so we'll come back to this booth uh, in just a moment. Well, hello, sir. Good to see you again here. Tell us a little bit about what you're selling. Um, well, it's a, kind of a business. I started as a hobby, and last year I quit the full-time job to do it full-time. But I got a variety of salsas and a variety of sweet and spicy mustards. And real quick, what's the name on the business? It's Mayhem Foods. Mayhem Foods, okay. We, I think we need to try some salsas, is that? Sure. Is that all right? Yeah. What would you recommend? Um, well, I always recommend, these are my favorites. It's a uh, ghost pepper <laughs> version. <laughs> Um, that is right up my alley. So, but I have um, with the salsas, they all go from mild to extreme out out front. So Anaheim peppers, while they're still green, to a blend of habaneros, um, both on the salsas and on the mustards over here. But uh, some of my more creative creations, I have a blueberry version. Oh wow! A raspberry version, a mango version. And my newest one and most popular, it's a bacon bourbon jalapeno. Okay, I'll try that one. Yeah, those four in the middle are a very mild, medium spice. Well, point, me your, point me to your ghost pepper. Mustard or salsa? Uh, salsa sounds good. Sorry to step in front here. Like one one thing you'll find with this stuff, I don't cut corners to get the heat. I don't use the extracts or oils. Uh -huh. It's all fresh ghost peppers in there, so it's packed with flavor before the heat smacks the upside down. Well, I think this is really good, and it would be lovely on a baked ham. That's one thing I have to consider with that. Yeah, but like with the, with the ghost pepper, 
it you get the flavor up front, and it really it really takes like 15 or 20 seconds before the, you get the full blunt. I'm feeling it right now. You're right. So it, it's, a, it's a delayed burn. <laughs> are they really? Yes, they are. This is this is a hot ghost pepper sauce. Oh, excuse me, ghost pepper sauce. Yeah, but it's packed with flavor. It's one of my favorite. It's very, very well done. Sorry. Well, the, the, these are just like a like a normal sweet and spicy mustard, okay. just different heat levels. I see. The milds on the outside, they get hotter as you go in. And then, <clears throat> oh yeah, I just got I just got a tip. Uh, these. These are different heat levels. These are just different flavors. But feel free to sample. That's why they're out. <laughs> which was that? Which one? That's very good, good, but I still like this one. The mango? Oh, the bacon bourbon. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, that's quite a. That's quite a. Uh, a grouping. Yeah. Well, normally, people uh, when they when they hear me say bacon bourbon, they're like, oh. like, okay, do I have you bacon bourbon? Yes. Or yes. Yes. That would be a very nice sample. One thing I didn't think about, I have to put that on the website. Excellent. Thank you so much for letting us try those. And come out here. Are you out here every week? Yes. Out here every Thursday. Mayhem Foods at the Reynoldsburg Farmer's Market every Thursday. If you like hot stuff, you should try this ghost pepper salsa. It is legit. So, very good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, we will uh, we'll come back to this booth still. Let's move up here to Tiger uh, Mushroom Farms. Hi there. How are you? Well, hello again, guys. Hey, how are you? Our This Week readers might recognize Tiger Mushroom Farms. It's been featured, um, I believe, a couple different times in our papers in different editions, uh, and including, at, I know you're at the Worthington Farmers Market, because you were part of our Q&A series there last year. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the business. So, I started this business when I was seven years old after a Cub Scout project ended. It was so interesting, I learned to keep growing stuff. Then my parents wanted OK Drug in winter, and I said, mushrooms, the mushrooms, the drugs, the dark. Excellent. And what do you what do you have here uh, that you're selling at the mar farmer's market today? I have my shiitake and onion soup mix, my fresh shiitake, my yellow oyster, my gray oyster, and we just showed out of our pink oyster mushroom. What's the best seller, typically? The shiitake. Okay. Is really, the best seller. really the best seller. Those pink oysters, those must have been yeah. 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 something to see. Have much are those harder to grow? They are a little harder to grow. And they, um, you fry them up until they crisp and they taste like bacon. And so that's a really big it's selling point. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, okay. that's why they are gone, gone, gone. And also, you guys are shiitake up there. Yeah, absolutely. We actually um, are working with a chef um, that is making a shiitake bacon Ooh. and they're going to do a blended uh, hamburger and use the uh, shiitake in it and it's going to be entered into the beard uh, James Beard contest so we definitely want to you know give a shout out to that if you go over to Woodland's Backyard Grill you can get a, a taste of that hamburger over there and it is amazing <laughs> that's very cool Do you guys have a website Yes. Absolutely. So tigermushroomfarms.com. Oh, that's easy to remember, but I'm going to put it up here right. so everybody can see it. <laughs> tigermushroomfarms.com. And it's a very popular popular business in many farmers markets. Where else are you? So, we're um, Wednesdays we're at the Franklin Park Conservatory. Thursdays we're here in uh, Reynoldsburg. On uh, Friday we start out in the morning at Pearl Market and then we go out to Newark uh, for an evening market. And then on Saturday, we're at Worthington, North Market, and Westgate Farmers oh. Market. Yeah. Wow, busy you schedule. Have a full time job. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The advantage to that, if you're watching, is you have a lot of different places that you could go to absolutely. to try this. So, a lot of different opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Guys, have a good evening. All right, you too. We'll move up here to Old Village Meats. Hello. Hey.
much. Hello again. Hello. So I think when I was stopping by here before and seeing what the market had to offer, a lot of things caught my eye here. So yeah. again, this is Old Village Meats. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Sarah Moran. I'm Connor Crabtree. And you guys are from Frazysburg? We are from Frazysburg. And what are you selling? Um, we are a custom butcher shop, so we have all oh. kinds of meats. We have um, fresh beef, pork, and chicken, and we have um, smoked like meats, bacon, pork chops, and then we have um, bologna, jerky, and jerky steaks. Wow. You have all this out here to try. What would you What would you recommend? Um, the maple sticks and the jerky are a big seller. The maple sticks are here. And the jerky. I might have to try some of this. Some of this jerky. Twist, his arm. Twist my arm. <laughs> and you got Cajun and regular. Those are two. Um, they're both really good. Okay, we'll try some of the regular as a baseline. Yes. <laughs> Um, well, we are not involved directly in the smoking process. Our boss and his son, they smoke everything. We have a um, smoke house, so we do it all ourselves. And um, we slice it up, and we slice it pretty thin. And then they, they do their magic, and they smoke it, and they cure it. And, um, this smoke is, how, is a wonderful thing. Isn't yeah, this is how we get it. <laughs> and that is actually, that is that is some of the freshest tasting jerky I've ever had. I and mean, that's really it's good. Not, not we make it hard. fresh every week. Yeah. Yeah. That is uh, that is amazing. Very good. Did you guys have a website? Um, you have to try a little bit of everything to see exactly what it's like. It is oldvillagemeats.org. Can I have your business card? Yes, you it's not, I don't think it's all in there. Not on the business card. Here. Okay. Well, I, I usually show it to everybody so they can scrub back, yes. scrub back to it. It's oldvillagemeats.com? Yep. Oldvillagemeats.com. And so, are you guys out here at the farmer's market every Thursday? Every Thursday. Any other markets? Um, we do the Potasco market on Friday nights, and we do Granville on Saturday mornings. Excellent. So, again, more opportunities to, uh, to visit with different locations. Thank you very much. Good, thank you. All right, guys. Have a good evening. You too. One more to stop by here, and we'll go back and pick up one more booth. But this is the Wishwell Farms. They have a variety of produce. Hi guys. Hi there. How's it How going? are you? Pretty good. What are uh, what are you selling here today? Today we just have strawberries. We did have some peas sold out of those. Fresh salsa, um, maple syrup, and garlic scapes. Probably don't know what these are, but these come from the garlic plant, and you can actually saute them. Anything you'd use garlic. You can use these as a replacement. Um, you can grill them like you would asparagus. They will only be here this week and probably next week, and that's it. Um, that's something new to me. So that's that's actually <laughs> yep. pretty cool. Um, kale, if anyone's into the health craze. Right, right. And we also have basil. I um, thought I smelled smells basil really good. A while ago. Yep. And a little bit of asparagus and lots of fresh tomatoes. These tomatoes are not like the ones you get at the greenhouse. These are actually um, we let them ripen on the vine. So. And then they're, they're not. So shipped. you've actually grown these. Yes, we grow these in our. They're greenhouse. real live tomatoes. Yeah, these are real live tomatoes. Um, yeah, the cherries and also cherry tomatoes. But these are they're not like the ones you get at the grocery store. They're picked. They're picked literally almost purple, almost green. They ship them across the country. Then they actually gas them with ethylene gas to make them ripen. So we don't do that. We actually let these ripen on the vine, and these will just pick some earlier this week, and then they just taste like actual tomatoes. <laughs> Guaranteed to be good. They look we have quite a following for them here. And again, your Wishwell Farms? Yes. Out, yep. of, out of Belfound? Yep. Are you at any other farmer's market? We also go to Worthington, Powell, Clintonville, and North Market on Saturdays. And then there's a new market starting up um, in Hilliard, um, or Dublin, I'm sorry, in Dublin on Saturday. And then we all, in Belfound, so we have a market there on Saturdays. And then uh, we go to Maryville every once a day. And you have your website there, wishwellfarms.com, yep. that uh, do you sell things from the web? Can you order from the um, website? Mostly or things, just... um, it's more just for contact and for exposure and, and just to kind of read a little bit more about our history and, and how we started. And we do sell the relish down here. Um, this, is good stuff. this is the only thing we do sell online. It's a, my great grandmother's sweet pepper relish. We grow everything in here on the farm and then process at our FDA approved facility. And good on your hot dogs, hamburgers, brats. And, Makes a good tartar sauce mix it with some mayonnaise. Excellent. <laughs> or on a spoon. Or, yep, or just on a cracker. <laughs>
Well, yep, thank you, you, thank you very much. Yep, thank you. Have a good evening, and uh, you can come out and see Wishwell, Far Wishwell, Farms, Wishwell Farms at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market and several others uh, that uh, you, can, you can go back and listen to where those were. So, uh, we're going to go back and get one more booth before we sign off here. This has been quite popular the entire time, uh, selling bath bombs and different uh, bath materials. So, give us another opportunity to see uh, Mayor Brad McLeod uh, playing, I believe this is uh, hit by Otis Redding, sitting on the dock of the bay. Hopefully I got that right from my, uh, uh, from my music knowledge, but another opportunity to see him play here at the Reynoldsburg Farmers Market, the opening one of the season. Step over here real quick. And again, just a testament here to how popular I've seen this booth today. I can't wait to talk to her. Hi guys. Get some good things. Excellent. Wow. Bad bomb. Everybody's been liking this today. So this is a cool thing. Let's you know where to come back to. <laughs> It's great advertising. <laughs> Not a paid spokesman. Well, you guys have a good night. Have a good night. Bye, baby.
Well, you've just been incredibly popular. Well, tell us a little bit about your business and what you're selling here. I'm selling bath bombs. Obviously, they have four of them. <laughs> Very popular with the little kids. I see that. Um, we sell um, shower steamers for the non bath goers. Stick them in the shower. Okay. I have some coffee eye cream for the wrinkles we don't want. I see. Um, and then some lip balms, some bath salts, muscle rub. I'm a hairstylist, so I'm so sore. <laughs> so. Excellent. This is your business is Head to Toe by Marcy Joe. Head to Toe by Marcy Joe. And I see here. And I'm Marcy Joe. Oh, nice to meet you, Marcy <laughs> Joe. I see you on a Facebook page. I do. I'm going to hold this up for our viewers so they can see Thank where to you. go. Yes. Go if they want to learn more about you. Like my page. I um I do sugar scrubs, shaving creams, body butters, lotions. Um, I'm testing it. This is my first okay. big event. Um, trying to make sure it doesn't melt so they don't want people walking around. <laughs> Um, they're so far perfect. So coffee, sugar scrub, and then shaving cream to shave with. And they're not melted. That's yes, excellent. You did something right so there. So hopefully these like... will be here to sell next Thursday. And are you here every week at the Rumble Farmers Market? I'm here every week. Market? Yes, yes, excellent. yes, yes. This are is you... my first one. Welcome. Yes. Are you at any other Farmers Markets yet? I am not. Um, I work a lot. Understand. Very, very, uh, So let's, let's frame this like this. Head to toe with Marcy Joe exclusively at the Reynoldsburg Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk thank to us. We'll you. let you get back here. You've got a lot of people wanting to talk to you. So have Very a good busy. evening. It's a great night. Yeah. It has been, has Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for coming thank you. to talk to me. Nice to meet you. Well, with that, I think we're going to get ready to sign off here at the Reynoldsburg Farmer's Market. We've had a wonderful time here for the debut of, of the market season. Yes, we have, and there are still a lot of people coming out. The market is open until 7 o'clock this evening, so if you haven't been, you still have time. And just as a reminder, every Thursday throughout the summer, from 4 to 7 at Huber Park in Reynoldsburg is when the market's going to be. Now, if you want to catch us at our next uh, community, uh, uh, our next community event, we're going to be in Hilliard a week from today, next Thursday. Uh, that will be June 14th. We're going to be at Celebration at the Station. And that, that's a concert series in Hilliard. Uh, and then after that, we're actually going to be at the Worthington Farmer's Market on Saturday, June 16th. And that one is from 8 a.m. to noon. So we got an early morning uh, for, that, for that event. But come out and see us uh, at those events. If you have any questions, if you want to see some of these events and talk to us during that time, we'd love to speak with you. And then please, uh, make some time to come out if you live in and around uh, Reynoldsburg. Come visit this wonderful farmer's market.